I have a taste for Caucasians. It was the first time in a while that I felt like this is like a complete package, kind of. When I speak English, it's uh, I can go deeper to my emotions. There is thinking inside this box. I just laugh a lot. <laughs> my name is Mayan. Together with my Thai husband, Mon, I live on this beautiful island called Kolanta in the south of Thailand and running a guest house hosting tourists from around the world. Sometimes you meet guests that are just so interesting, you want to make a YouTube video about them. Meet the German Franzi and the Indonesian Nanda. So my name is Franzi. Uh, I'm 27 years old. I live on Bali and that's where I met uh, Nanda. So my name is Nanda. I'm 27 years old. I'm a photographer, videographer, like a uh, content creator basically. Uh, I live in Bali, Indonesia. I was originally born in Jakarta, the capital, but then I moved to the islands. And I came there just to like have a backpack trip for a couple of months. I was in India and Sri Lanka and Thailand before, and then I went to Bali because I knew uh, Bali before. A story about how we met. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, so I first knew her through a mutual friend back in December of 2019, and then yeah, we just became friends. Uh, shortly after, followed each other on Instagram. Blah, blah. We met uh, two years ago, or even maybe a bit more. I can't remember really. But then at that time, I had a, I had a girlfriend. So then, earlier this year, 2021, uh, my ex and I broke up. And then after a while, uh, at the time we still we still just. We're, we're just friends and then we saw each other on stories commenting on each other's stories mostly she would comment on my food i i like to post stuff that i eat sometimes like i cook as well so my food what i eat she would comment on it and then and then last july i think he texted me yeah i just had this idea not out of nowhere like i i've always found her attractive so i texted her back in, I think it was end of June or, or early July this year. And you're like, yeah, you wanna hang out for coffee and catch up one day. It wasn't really a date. We were just hanging out for a coffee on a sports field and I brought a friend, I think. Yeah, I think I brought a friend even. So I think he, he didn't think that we were gonna see each other a second time. So the first one was just coffee and then there was her friend. So I wouldn't count that as the first date, but the first date was the second meetup, which was, so we were, at the rice field, working on the rice field. And then we bought alcohol, which is in uh, Balinese stuff, Arak. It's a rice wine. We drank that. Uh, we we kind of had too much of it. We got really drunk together, and that changed things. <laughs> so that, that was the moment <laughs> that you felt like... Yeah, that changed things. Because, of course, when there's alcohol, there's no... You don't have a filter anymore, you just talk and then you just do things that you wouldn't do necessarily when you're sober. But it was nice. And then from there, we kept on seeing each other and here we are, together traveling in Thailand. Her eyes, her eyes, make the stars look like they're not shining. Her hair, her hair, falls perfectly without her trying. What made you She's feel so like beautiful. you want to be more like what did you like about him so much compared to other people oh that's very personal um i think it's hard to say i think i felt very attracted to him like physically and mentally can you say that then it was the first time in a while that i felt like this is like a complete package kind of i feel like i just want to be with this person now in all the ways you know what I mean? And when I realized that, I was like, oh shit. Okay, I want to keep this guy. When I see your face There's not a thing that I would change Cause girl, you're amazing Just the way you are And when you smile
Singing was a hobby and then photography as well. So when I first moved, I had one friend that was singing already in cafes. So uh, that's how I started out. So I sometimes uh, fill his place whenever he can't make it. And then from there I get more singing jobs. So at one point I was singing like five times a week. Sometimes the flower will bloom just to nurture the ground. So if you should While doing that, I built my portfolio for photography. And then after one, one and a half years, the photography got better and I got more photography jobs. So I choose to go down that path because it pays better than being a cafe singer. If you ever forget that you love. Until now, I still, yeah, I'm still doing photography and in pandemic, I start to dive in more into videography as well. So I also make videos now, photo, video, and the singing is back to becoming a hobby. We laugh a lot, we're fucking goofy all the time. I love that. I love that everything is effortlessly and that he can take my moods because sometimes I'm not I'm not always in a happy mood and he just understands. But there's a lot of room for emotions in your, yeah. In your relationship. Yeah. And I take up all the space. Yeah. He doesn't need much. <laughs> <laughs> Did you date like a, f a foreigner before? Yeah. Yeah, you did. Basically, I have I have a taste for Caucasians, <laughs> and I o I've only dated one Indonesian before in my life. <laughs> you guys are so cute. I think first first it was the looks. And then also as I grew up, I realized that I, I love expressing my, myself in English is somehow easier for me than in Indonesian. My family and I were not very much uh, open in talking about emotions, feelings. So whenever I speak about my feelings in Indonesian, it feels kind of weird. And when I speak English, it's uh, I can go deeper to my emotions so I can express myself better. So that's another thing that 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 makes me more attracted to uh, foreigners what about like culture difference do you feel anything like you being like a German girl from like German background European mm. That's what we talked about before. We don't really have that much cultural difference. Like, for example, when I was moving into his house a while ago, uh, temporarily, I would, like, do a bit of a makeover with him together and put, like, plans and let's, let's do... But that's also more like a man-woman thing and not an Indonesian-German thing, you know? He's Muslim, but he, 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 we don't have any religion things coming up at all. You're Muslim? I'm that Muslim. doesn't really play a role in your life? No, because I'm, I wouldn't say I'm a, I'm a religious person. I, I mean, I've got tattoos. This is already uh, something that's not, like a, it's not allowed in the religion. And then I, I just don't practice the religion that much. Anyway, it's, yeah, it's, it's, just in, it's not in my upbringing. Like my parents doesn't uh, force the religion on me, so yeah, we're free to do anything we want. Yeah. yeah, so for your parents, how is it that you uh, are dating? Uh, yeah, it's perfectly fine. <laughs> yeah, they don't mind. Yeah, they don't mind at all. They don't do yeah. voodoo on her. Nah. <laughs> like, like his parents. What? <laughs> Not anymore. Okay, good. <laughs> when we met, <laughs> try to break us up. <laughs> what? It's all the same. We're basically the same. Which is great, it works out. More about cultural stuff as well, it doesn't re we don't really have much discrepancies. It, it just clicks. Uh, me and mom, we have the same thing. Like, we actually don't have much culture difference, you know? Yeah. But if I hear like the story of his life, where he's come from, uh, like where his background is like, but how do you become the way you are when yeah. you come from that, you know? But it's kind of like, 
Yeah, it's me, my my prejudice that I have we're to reset. We're all in a box. Yeah. Yeah. Not not he didn't do anything. That's He's why just we're himself, so surprised. You know? you know, it's actually we're kind of we as the the Western. We are just thinking inside this box that ah, because he has this background, he has to be like this and this. But then they're not, and then you're like, oh my god. But it's actually, yeah, we have to be more open-minded that even people from other cultures can be the same. Her sense of humor is amazing. I, I laugh a lot whenever I'm around her. And yeah, I, I love that we can be silly together, like in our own bubble. I just laugh a lot. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> Before, but you are the love of my life. I knew when you came through the door that you are the love of my life. Nothing's hard, everything is easy. Everything is easy when you come around.